Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. As many of you will know already, I live on a humble little narrowboat and my main vehicle for commuting in and out of town for shopping and work is a rather nice brightly coloured Mango Bikes Fixie. Let's take a look. As you can see, everything is still absolutely beautiful and nice and bright as a colour as you would hope it to be, still one year on. And overall, considering the terrain that I've put this through repeatedly, month after month, I am incredibly satisfied with just how well it's all still running and what good shape we're still in. Right, we're going to head off down here. I'm strapped with all sorts of cameras and gizmos, so I will show you a little bit of the terrain and we'll have a chat about what I think about it. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you much of this very bumpy footage, but it gives you an idea of the sort of riding that I do that is beyond off-road. I mean, if you look at the ground here, you can see there's literally pieces of brick and stone all over the place. And obviously, over the wet months that have just passed, you can imagine how muddy all this turns to. So it makes for a pretty hair-raising riding on little road bike tyres, especially at night. But here we come up to one of my favourite places. Let's have a look. Here we are up on one of my favourite places along the canal. And like I say, you can see that the bike looks like it's still in great condition. And it pretty much is, despite all of the bumps and pieces of brick sticking out of the towpath along this stretch. I mean, there's some places worse than this, there's some places where it's nice and smooth. And this is the sort of area I've been over the winter on my winter mooring. And yet five months of that hasn't really done any notable damage. I would say that at this point the front wheel is very very slightly out of line. It's very minor. It's not even enough to cause any rubbing on the front brakes which are as you know with road bikes probably uh, extremely close to the wheel rim. So there's certainly no problem with that and well one year on it's just it's still something that I love to get out go riding and the fact that I do this as I use this as my commuting bike, so I'm putting in a good few miles a week just to go into work and back, depending on where my boat is along the canal. And that in turn then is giving me all sorts of different terrain, whether you're talking huge hills from somewhere like Ellesmere where I have to go over a big hill known as the Brow. And if I'm doing that first thing on a work morning, then I admit I will get off and push the last part because I don't want to absolutely wear myself out before I've even got into time to start an eight hour shift at work. But I have done it, um, I've done some extremely big hills without uh, stepping off the bike. And that's something I'm surprised about. There's hills that I've done. I'm not saying they weren't hard work, but I've managed to just about do them, even with one single gear. Uh, you're talking 16 teeth on the back and 44 on the front, which is a good ratio to me. I feel that on nice flat roads I can get a really good bit of speed up. And I certainly don't think, oh, I wish this had more gears at any real moment. And the best part about all this is, as I've said time and time again, the absolute lack of maintenance. I basically, oil the chain every now and then after, just fiddle around with the back here to put some more tension in the chain. But that is, well, it's absolutely no work. As I say, I've been uh, riding this in a fixed gear mode for a good, good while now, probably at least 90% of the time I've had this bike. So that in turn means I don't have the back brake attached, which once again is even less to go wrong and even less to worry about maintaining on the bike. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice little uh, vehicle. I must have done between, I'd say at this point, I've definitely done 3000 miles on it. And I wouldn't like to say how close to 4000 I've come, but because it's been a nice mild winter again, I've put a lot more miles in on this bike over the last few months than I would have last year, say, when we had all of the snow and ice constantly plaguing the road. The only thing that I've had to change on the bike completely are, as you would imagine, obviously the tyres. I think it took about eight months to uh, wear the tyres through and I wore them to absolutely wafer thin levels. I mean, they were ridiculously thin and I should have probably changed them a lot sooner and I certainly will be uh, making sure I don't let these ones go that thin. Uh, but once again, these are Kenda tyres. I've changed the front colour for a purple one instead of the orange that I originally had and kept the blue one for the back. And obviously I've got absolutely no problem with changing the tyres because that's something that you expect to happen. 
Um, one thing that people ask me a lot is, does the paint scratch easily? And I still, I've mentioned this in a previous video, I'm still not entirely certain what the question is exactly about, because if you're riding the bike out a lot, it's fine to get scratched every now and then. Um, and now uh, you can see a little bit there chipped off, and it's got just little bits like that, streaks where when I put it on and off the boat, it scrapes against the boat itself. But I can honestly say now that this bike has got less paint chipped off it than the boat has had chipped off it by the bike. Helmet's back on, so it must be time to wrap this video up. I'll say in summary, one year on, thousands of miles ridden, all sorts of terrain, you're talking these incredible towpaths, roads that are half falling apart, up big hills, down big hills, um, and of course across nicely, freshly tarmacked main roads gotta be said I couldn't be happier absolutely love it riding fixed gear has been a great experience for so long as well certainly some hair raising moments when every now and then I forget and try and stop pedaling uh, but all in all fantastic bike I've had a huge amount of incredible times and spent many many happy hours riding all over the place through the country roads on this and well if I pick it up and say it's not too heavy uh, I'll say thanks very much for watching this has been my mango bike and hopefully will remain my mango bike. I've been Dan Brown. Check out my other videos for a load more biking and fixie riding. A lot of onboard uh, through the handlebars, camera angle, rides and commentaries. A load of narrowboat life and all sorts of outdoor stuff. Thanks for watching again. Check out my other videos. Subscribe, like the Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter. Feel free to add my personal account on Facebook. All of the usual plug-in, check out my narrowboat books, The Narrowboat Lad and The Narrowboat Lad Living the Dream. And until the next time, finally, I'll say farewell and have a fantastic day.